नमस्ते आप सभी लोगों का यहाँ पे स्वागत है हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून टू यू ऑल आप सभी का यहाँ पे स्वागत है मेरा नाम है धवल देसाई मैं ऑब्जर्वर रिसर्च फाउंडेशन में काम करता हूँ एंड अ बिग थैंक यू टू यू ऑल फॉर कमिंग हियर इन सच लार्ज नंबर्स दिस आफ्टरनून ऑलमोस्ट इवनिंग नाउ फ्रेंड्स एज वी ऑल नो वी आर हियर ऑन द एनिवर्सरी ऑफ टू मोस्ट टू ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट डेट्स इन द सब Uh, to speak in one voice on several issues that threaten the human existence not just that that of the subcontinent but of the entire south asian region and even the world this is the inaugural event of the gandhi eedi campaign uh, which was the brainchild of uh, sudhindra ji sudhindra kulkarni the chairman of observer research foundation and he thought that what can be a worthy tribute to pay to this greatest humanitarian from pakistan uh, janab abdul sattar edi sahab who recently passed away and who gave up his entire life for the service of humanity and so he came up with this idea of this gandhi eedi campaign bahut logo mein baat hui ki mahatma gandhi ko eedi sahab ke sath kyun joda jaye ke ek rashtrapita the dusre jo the wo ek tarike se ek social worker the लेकिन दोनों का काम और दोनों के लाइफ का उद्देश्य अगर देखेंगे तो वो बहुत ही सिमिलर था महात्मा गांधी ने हमें आज़ादी दिलवाई कोई सवाल ही नहीं है लेकिन उनका जो सर्विस टू ह्यूमैनिटी कि जो कहा जाता था और के नर सेवा ही नारायण सेवा सर्विस टू ह्यूमैनिटी सर्विस टू गॉड इज़ द प्रिंसिपल फाउंडेशन ऑन विच द लाइव्स ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एंड अब्दुल सत्तार रेदी वॉज बिल्ट एंड सो देर इज़ अ ग्रेट को और अगर महात्मा आज जीवित होते तो वो अब्दुल सत्तार रेदी पर के के, के जीवन पर ही वुड हैव बीन रियली प्राउड ऑफ इट सो इन दिस कैंपेन इन द इनोगर इलेवेंट वी आर हेयर टू स्पीक अप एंड स्पीक आउट फॉर कम्युनल हार्मनी सर्विस टू ह्यूमैनिटी इंडिया पाकिस्तान पीस एंड साक सॉलिडारिटी ऑल दीज इश्यूज विच अनफॉर्चुनेटली हैव बीन इग्नोर्ड इन दिस डे ऑफ इस डे एंड एज of politics of suspicion hatred and enmity bahut logon ne kaha ki ye jo bharat pakistan mein jo mahol bana hai abhi pichle dino mein khas taur pe kashmir ko leke to aisi meeting aisi peace meeting ke liye peace dialogue ke liye ye sahi samay nahi hai so this is a, this is not the right atmosphere for for organizing such peace meetings but what i have to tell all these people is that if the atmosphere was right then there would wouldn't have been any reason for us to meet here For such, for such a dialogue, the fact is that the atmosphere is not right, not conducive, and therefore this is the most opportune time for such a peace meeting to happen to strengthen the common voices of people on the issues of peace and humanity. Friends, human life in the 21st century is prone to an existential threat from not only climate change and issues like these, which are a direct result of the mindless materialistic growth of the 20th century the past century were also due to increased and changing and more deadlier forms of religious extremism and terrorism and who better to like you know quote than our former prime minister shri atal bihari vajpayee who said that it is not possible to change history and it is also not possible to change the geography it is definitely not like you know possible to change one's own neighbors either you go or he goes but in this case we are all representing the same region we are not going to go anywhere so what is possible however is to change our collective mindset and our collective thinking and our collective attitudes towards each other so let us unite and pledge to work shoulder to shoulder for the universal goals of communal harmony service to humanity india pakistan peace and indeed for the sak solidarity thank you once again for coming here in such large numbers and we will begin this function by paying our respects to all the victims of terrorism and hatred especially all those innocents who have lost their lives in recent terror attacks in pakistan india afghanistan and bangladesh and around the world even paris okay, so like you know boundaries blur for all the wrong reasons i must state when we talk about you know quetta assam dhaka mumbai or kabul let's hope that we never have a reason for the blurring of these boundaries and if the boundaries have to be blurred 
let the overriding factor of peace and the service to humanity be the reason and, and not the reasons why like you know these cities have so much in common today uh, so i will just request everybody in the room to kindly rise for 2 minutes of silence with this uh, we will start the proceedings of this peace meeting and i'll request our uh, dignitaries on the stage to kindly cut these strings uh, so can you give uh, a scissor please or something to cut this with